Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one, okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> Will Smith won the Oscars, yes, but he also slapped the fuck out of Chris Brown. Not Chris Brown, Chris, Chris Rock. Though Chris Brown probably deserves to get slapped. Um, I mean, look, he was making fun of Jada Pinkett Smith's, like, appearance due to, like, a medical issue, right? It was a real cunt thing to say, and also, uh, I think publicly, is, aren't, isn't the Smiths' marriage always publicly uh, very difficult? It seems like just a very bad move in two ways. Yeah, it you does. Know? It makes him look like he's sensitive, you know? Uh, especially since their marriage is open, and always like the thing people like to say about open marriages is that, like, oh, uh, must... It must feel really bad to be like getting cucked by your wife and all that. It makes him look even more insecure now that he slapped somebody for making a joke, so. I don't know. I mean, um, I also know that their, oh, their daughter is also, I think, in an open relationship. And people are saying that she's doing that because she sees her parents do, like being in an open relationship. Do you guys remember like that being controversial? I don't know. I don't think there's like anything wrong with it. If it works for their marriage, it works for their marriage. So I know, but you guys are talking about like the optics, right? Like, what? How does the public perceive it? And most people are yeah. probably weirded out by, like, I'm pretty sure most leftists on the internet are like fine with it. With it, but like, like you say, like most people who are like watching these types of things are like probably not on Twitter. So, Thinka Twenty One says it was fake, staged, anyways. Do, do I just realized I have Xanax, Xanax mode on my mic because I didn't change my bit rate, so I'm gonna pop in and out again, okay? Okay, no and problem. And then I'll be I'll be a whole new fucking man. All right, thanks. <laughs> okay. Um, Stardust, when do you think um violence is justified? If it wasn't public, would it have been fine? I probably wouldn't encourage anybody to like act out violence, uh, in public or in private, but. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I see why he did it. I, I don't agree with it though. You know, I, I don't, I don't agree with him doing it. Um, I don't agree with Chris Rock either for making the joke in the first place, but I, I just don't think that Will Smith should have done that. Um, but to be fair, he didn't beat the shit out of him. He just slapped him like a bitch slap. So I suppose that's true. Uh, that would you it's not very fair to like just bitch slap someone though. It's also not fine to um, literally demean someone's wife who has alopecia and probably like puts on wigs because she's insecure as like a public figure having that sort of problem. Yeah, I think yeah, it I would have been hard to know what to do, right? Yeah. Uh, also, I feel like it would be worse to do this in private. You There's know, footage of Denzel and, and Tyler. Out of them. The, apparently, there's footage of Denzel and Tyler Perry comforting Will during the commercial break. I mean, you couldn't have gotten past us not in this dress. No Thank way. You. Date night. Good I night, y'all. That's what And hey, hey, good luck. Uh, yeah, he said, by the way, good luck. Hey, good luck tonight. Have well, you talked to Will? Not yet. No, no, I haven't seen him yet tonight. No. Are, are you there for him? Because I know he may need you tonight. He may need you, was especially if he wants. He was he emo he well, good. He should be. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's a lot of This is foreshadowing if I've ever seen it. Holy shit. This is before <laughs> it. Guys, this is before it. This is foreshadowing. What the hell? Emotion. <laughs> what? This is a long time, well, I think a long time coming for him. And it's a lot of emotion. It's probably all Did welling you know? up in him right now. Wow. Okay. What he knew. He yeah, him. he. Oh there's no fucking. What, what the hell, dude? Yeah. Oh, here's but the pictures. Like, Hi, Ginger. Hi, Ginger. Hi, sweet. Here's Hi. here's the picture. Okay, so this is apparently. Um, let's see here. Entertainment Today has learned that Washington and Perry had a private moment with Smith inside the theater during a commercial break after the shocking moment. They all hugged, and things seemed fine after. 
Washington was also seen stepping in between Rock and Smith as Smith held hands with his wife. A source tells E.T. the theater was silent after Will got up and hit Chris. No one could tell if it was staged or a joke at first. Then Will started yelling at the top of his lungs and cursing out Chris. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to, okay? Okay, so this is Tyler Perry and... Denzel Washington, yeah. yeah. There's a clip of that, but I I can't find it. I'm I was looking at it earlier. Uh, I'm very curious as to what the backstory is because I don't know too much about these people. But is there a possibility that Rock was in a relationship or some something with no. Jada? No, I mean there is a possibility, but for as as what I know that's out, no, they didn't. So. Mm-hmm. There is um, pictures of Bradley Cooper as well hugging Will Smith. Um, oh, wow. A source tells E.T. that both Smith and Rock were in good spirits ahead of the moment. According to the source, Will was so friendly to everyone and Rock was looking forward to his Oscar performance. Hello? I just think it's funny. People are like, it's obvious that he didn't smack him. Did you hey. see how far back Chris Rock got bent? Yeah, me. I mean, the other possibility is that he has some mental health health issues, and it's just like he just couldn't control himself <laughs> at that moment. It's I'm totally new like... here. <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome. Um, what are your thoughts on on the altercation? Well, I might have an interesting perspective. I'm actually a trained actor, so uh-huh. uh, just just jumping into what was just being said then. It is super likely that this was a mental health issue. Like, yeah. this is someone who is on the, like, high end of his career right now. He's popping off. And that kind of pressure. I mean, did anyone see the acceptance speech? Yeah, um, I did. Y- uh, let me see if... Uh, did, did we pull that up? I don't know. Oh, yeah, we can play it here. I didn't Oscar see it. Goes to. Yeah, he's not acting during the acceptance speech. He is really... There is a lot going on in this guy's head right now. Like, there was a lot going on before the slap, and it's all coming out here. You know what I mean? Like, he's going to be talking to a lot of professionals after this, I reckon. Like, for sure, right? Well, I mean, I I feel like he definitely needs something. I just hope that Jada, like, I you know that Jada's going to bring it up on her stupid show. Like, yeah. And and that, I feel like that show has like been the cause of a lot of their problems recently. Really? Okay, guys, I'm <laughs> streaming the I'm streaming the video. If you want to watch while we play it of him getting the the acceptance um, or he, him accepting the the award, I'm just gonna play it real quick. Richard Williams um, was a fierce defender of his family. It's the first thing on his mind. In this time in my life, in this moment, I am overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in this world. Making this film, I got to protect Ingenue Ellis, who was one of the most strongest, most delicate people I've ever met. I got to protect Sanaya and Demi, the two actresses that played Venus and Serena. (laughs) 
I'm being called on in my life Aww. to love people and to protect people and to be a river to my people. I think the tears are real. And I know to do what we do. They're real for sure. You got to be able to take abuse. You got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. In this business, you got to be able to have people disrespecting you. Binka you seems mad, bro. Like that's okay. But Richard Williams, and what I loved, thank you, D. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes for you. Dude. And then literally. Yeah. Is that wild? That's so nuts. Isn't this his first Oscar, too? Um, I don't know. Chat, does somebody I know? Mm -hmm. I'm going to look, look it up and see. The Pursuit of Happiness was a record movie that he might have. It's like... Someone in chat actually asked, like, why didn't he apologize during his speech? For love. Would he? I want to say... Yeah, it's his first Oscar. Thank you to Venus. He apologized Serena, to everyone except Chris Rock, if I remember right. Yeah, yeah. We're, um, I, I'm, I think we're seeing it right now. See that on TV. Um, I want to say thank you to Venus and Serena and the entire Williams family for entrusting me with your story. That's what I want to do. I want to be an ambassador. I can't. I still can't get over the fact that the Reddit CEO is married to um, Serena Williams. I just can't get over it. I, th I see what? the two of them. That's so funny. I can't get over it. That's nice. Is he the epitome of the Milady meme or? Yeah. I don't That's know. Him. Dude. That's him right next to her. It's so strange to me. Every time I see it, I'm just like, Jeez. okay. <laughs> All right. That's well definitely played, not something okay. I that ever. Exists. Yeah. Okay. We now got the strongest, most powerful wife love, possible. Yeah. Care and concern. Um, People saying that the smack didn't stop Chris Rock. I don't know. It it apologize. definitely made his mouth all funky afterwards. It looked like he that was ready hurt, for hurt, it. Hurt. <laughs> Chris leaned into it like a high five. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Chris, honestly, he did. He <laughs> leaned into it, but Chris also looked like he was going to cry as well. Like, to me, it looked like his eyes were, like, watering up. I don't know. Let's see. Well, I'm thinking of the last person that you think is going to smack you across the face as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. True. He seemed a bit shocked by it to me. I don't know if he was, like, in tears, really. Yeah. And the way he spoke after it, he was, like, stuttering really heavily. Hello, can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, like he couldn't yeah. believe what happened. He's like, Will oh, Smith so just slapped me across the so face. The like he was just couldn't believe it. To the wall of black and white I, I think one thing. Go ahead. So I think one thing is that like apology doesn't really count unless you actually apologize for the person you offended. It's more like, uh, like if you punch somebody and then like uh, apologize to everybody else, I don't think it really kind of causes apology it's like in my opinion well, there's okay. something eerie about the way will smith keeps saying he's being called on to do stuff like he's on a mission right now it kind of reminds me of like mania or something oh, or like, I, don't know. I don't know i don't know i would rather not speculate on on like specific mental illnesses you know um, not, not to say that he is suffering at the moment um as someone who actually experiences it myself um, quite heavily, I'm not suggesting that he's somehow diagnosable at all. I'm just saying that, you know, th this moment of, like, heightened action in his career, like, th th like what what do you think it was inside him is what I'm saying that, like, made him get up and do the slap? Do you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, no, it's it's pretty, it's so freaking out of character. And I think that it, like, goes to show you how out of character it is that people are, 
like people are going up and like comforting Will Smith after this. Like, has anybody seen anybody gone up and comfort Chris Rock? I just want to. I don't know. know. Let's watch the rest of this and see what happens. Because right. we're still halfway through this, but that's a good question. Nominees. Um, this is a beautiful moment, and I'm not. I'm not. I'm not crying. For winning a, an award, it's not. It's not about winning an award for me. It's about being able to shine light on all of the people, Tim and and Trevor and Zach and Sanaya and Demi and Anjanu and the entire cast and crew of King Richard and Venus and Serena, the, the entire Williams family. Um, Art imitates life. I look like the crazy father, just like they said. <laughs> I look like crazy father, just like they said about Richard Williams. Um, but yeah. love will make you do crazy things. Um, to my mother, um, a lot. If we just. Yeah, it's a pretty. Sorry, go ahead. She looks pretty. Uh, she she looks like she's happy for him there, so. You know, at least there's that. To my mother, um, a lot of this moment say, is really like a pretty complicated definitive for me, but I say to my mother. Him, yeah, like, he is um, kind of attrition. Like, I know I look crazy, but I'm yeah. in love with her, and, I, and I'm trying to love as many people as possible. So he must be every day, like, feeling that as his art inspiration. And I've noticed now, like, he literally won Best Actor, like, across the board in many different... Uh, award shows they like he is the most inspired actor currently uh and i guess his inspiration is just like finding love for serena williams and the other actors and then especially his wife so he's like really ready to act uh yeah. like i mean against chris rock he's really ready to like do something about the emotions that he's feeling so he probably would have processed that moment real quick and immediately felt like very empowered to like get up and slap that guy right across the kisser mm -hmm. Yeah, I think one um, thing to, for us to remember is that this piece was probably prepared beforehand. Like, he's not improvising this, so... Kinda... I think this was... Like, like you, you planned the piece beforehand, so you don't actually know that you are going to slap somebody before you do the speech. So I think that's, like, a genuine to some uh, extent. I feel like, like he was directly addressing it. Yeah, I think he. Well. I think he was. I think he was addressing it. I mean, like you prepare mm -hmm. a little bit, but but if like if you've been in broadcasting, like sometimes that pre preparation, like you change things on the fly, you know. So of course, I guess. yeah. He would have had key points and then improvised around them. Yeah. yeah. Um, Some okay. days start so off, I feel like you're kind of... reading off a script, but it's like all day. I'm like, how does she just do this fast? <laughs> <laughs> well. well. Her How do you she just yell at old men? Look, what happens is, uh, <sighs> dude, um, if you hear me typing during a debate, that's usually me typing up um, some key points, you know? That's usually that's usually me typing up some key points. So, all right, let, let's, let's finish the rest of this. All right. <laughs> Watch it with... Um... <laughs> Um, being able to love and care for my mother and my family, my wife. Um, I'm taking up too much time. Uh, thank you for this honor. Thank you for this moment. And thank you on behalf of Richard and, and Orsine, the entire Williams family. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, Hoping Academy invites me back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was genuine yeah i definitely agree uh you know i'm curious as to if he hadn't used violence what would have been an appropriate way that would have oh, been oh, i've got an answer for this yeah for sure he he should he should have just gone up to chris rock right whispered right. something in his ear and just walked back down to the seat dude oh, that yeah would've... that would have been most reasonable yeah no, like, but you guys um, would've, people would have still said that would have that's disruptive to the to the. Oh, for sure, but like, 
I don't no, know. There would have been chatter about like. Okay, then say, maybe you know? after the Oscars were over, right? He could have like gone up to Chris Rock and said, "Hey, maybe uh, yeah, but that's not as impactful." Chill with though. that next time. No, he wanted to. The reason why he did it at that moment was because in his mind at that moment he wanted to proclaim his his love and like that he was willing to True. essentially be a crazy person for his wife because he wasn't willing for like comedian to be able to say something like that on like live television for everyone to hear and so he wanted to show oh on live television for everyone to see i'm just i'm not letting this happen <laughs> like old school chivalry right old school right. chivalry yeah but like yeah. i'm sure his wife knows that he would have been willing to do that you know he didn't have to go up and actually slap and chris rock really good you know who's got the hardest job tonight javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated now, if she loses, he can't win! <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord! Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? Oh, no, dude. <laughs> she rolled her eyes. Yeah, her, her face, she's like, oh, God. <laughs> Lord! Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, alright? Um, okay, so... So she doesn't look too happy about that. <laughs> people <laughs> getting made fun of rarely do. Nice okay. Well, sometimes, you know, people can take it and, and, and they're fine with it, but... I'm out here! Uh-oh, Richard! <laughs> Shame that they cut away there. Wow! <laughs> it is a very theatrical slap. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. But it is definitely a slap. He took it like a champ, though. <laughs> like, he did. He's more shocked he did. than anything. He, he really did take it like a champ. Wow. Get my name out your fucking mouth. Wow, yeah, dude. Yeah, you hear that, and you know it was a GI Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking no! I'm going to, okay? <laughs> By the way, chat, sorry, real quick shill. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell. We do some uh, panel debates here, and, uh, you know, I put I put some uh, videos up and stuff, okay? Thanks. All right. Sorry. <laughs> I could, oh, okay. Subscribe or I'll slap the shit out of you, chat. Greatest night Hands in the, the history air. of television. Any okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. So we are here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar out for best documentary. Now, <laughs> you know, I was thinking when I seen the unedited version, niggas having a tough set. Give me two seconds. <laughs> Just a second. Niggas, give me two seconds. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> give me two seconds. Will. 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 Mm. Will. Mm. What you did, man, was assault. <laughs> you and I both know that when motherfuckers talk about your wife, you have to wait for them to challenge you into a boxing match. Okay. I see he gets where he's coming from. Sure. And then you accept. And you wait for them to pussy out. Weren't you Mohammed Ali? <laughs> I'm gonna say this, bro. You guys think this is real? This is just season four of Everybody Hates Chris. <laughs> <laughs> what you did, yes, That's everybody what you really did. does. Um, Listen, it was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Okay. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. You guys know who G.I. Jane? G.I. Jane's the bald. She bald. Wait, Jada bald. If you aren't aware, Jada has alopecia apparently. Which yeah, I was not aware of. So that's. Okay, somebody in chat says, Will was laughing until he probably saw his wife upset. She's dealing with alopecia and is probably sensitive about it. That is true. That is true. Flashy ball. I honestly do think it was to look good for his wife. I think that's why he did it. Yeah, I think it's possible. Yeah, definitely. Will Smith took some exception agree. to it. There you guys have it. Do I think this is real? It looked real, real to me. It was it real. real. It, would look it real. was real. The way he messed up the next day. I mean, if it's not if it's not real, I will say Chris Rock, the way his head reeled back like that. Listen, I've seen a lot of punches in my life. That should look very real. Anyways, all that to say, 
Um, I understand it was a joke, but you have to understand that there's so much a man can take. Now, ever since that happened, that the thing that happened with Jada and everything and stuff, even Will said it himself that there was no cheating involved, right? We made jokes. We. I say we. We. We all made jokes about Will and everything and stuff. And then when someone sees that and stuff like that, they see that over and over and again. There's some stuff that, you know, I, I saw, I, I saw I, a couple of weeks, two weeks back, a week back, there was an interview about him, and I think he was talking with Gayle King, and he was talking about, no, no, we were open about this shit. We don't know what the relationship that they had. We don't know. We don't know, right? We don't know the relationship <laughs> No, they, dude. All his feelings about their relationship. Yes, dude. we don't know what the hell was going on with that. You know, there's a lot of people and a lot of things that, you know, we, we want to see everything about relationships and we want everybody to post things about relationships, but we don't really know what's going on. We don't know what they have, are talking about and we don't know that. It doesn't matter if they had an open talk with everybody at the red table and you were there. It, when these things happen, you don't know what is the thing that, and, and the, 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 the the understanding that they have between each other you don't we don't we weren't there we weren't there so all those jokes and that's what it says a lot about one another thing men vulnerability man he was vulnerable what we did with that we laughed at will we laughed we made fun we made memes and stuff like that and then you wonder why men don't want to open up about anything about that but that digress again all that to say, there's so much a man can take. And if the whole night he was talking shit, I can understand Will's sentiment. I don't feel he should have fucked him up. Like, I wouldn't have fucked him up. I would have waited for the thing to happen. Or I would have rolled on a motherfucker face to face and we would have talked. But, because, you know, on camera and everything and stuff, huh, unfortunately, that's assault. But I do understand where Will is coming from. Though. Will left the Oscars. Yes. It's real. Will just won an Oscar. <laughs> Congratulations, Will. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say at this point? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I was just saying, I just thought that was beautiful that this man slapped a nigga, handed an L, left, and, dumb. and got a dub. I got a dub. But, That's a okay. wonderful thing. And overall, I think he, he holds an L. I disagree with most of your take only because yes. my boy went from I am legend to I am cook. Oh, I got nothing for you. Bars. Yes, can you imagine? This I am legend so to what? I am I am legend to what? What did he say? I used to be called because and slapped a nigga, handed an L, left, and, it was a dub. and got a dub. I got a dub. But, That's a okay. wonderful thing. And overall, I think he, he holds an L. I disagree with most of your take only because yes. my boy went from I am legend to I am cook. Oh, I got nothing for him. Bars. Yes, can you imagine? Bars. This man that sometimes used to be called Hitch. Bars. Now I'm looking at him like, bitch. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Bars. No. That was Hitch. That was Hitch. The seduction expert. Now I'm looking at him like, Ew. bitch. Yeah. I am it's, legend to I am cock. don't know about people's oh. relationship. If you go outside and you oh. broadcast all the details of your relationship, you make oh. a red table talk. Real that, that, burns. That, is that, is burn. yeah, that, that is a burn. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Like, this is what it's like on the inside of our life. Rough. You invite that judgment. You, you invite, know, invite those news. You invite all that insult. You invite that ridicule. That's Nobody that's asked y'all to talk about August and do all this stuff. That's you. I you mean, guys decided to have your little couples talk in front of everybody. What happens <laughs> afterwards? That's your problem, stupid. You don't like them yeah. jokes, then keep your mouth shut about your personal life. I am very much respectful of how people will really handle their family the and relationship oh, life. Provided they keep it in private. And that's why I agree if with you. If you monetize your relationship issues, do not get surprised if people come at it with all their takes. Y'all don't hear about my Okay, problem. so he's got a fair yeah. point here. I did feel bad. Um, I did feel bad that he was making fun of... of her but i don't know i guess uh he has a point with that he has a point with that so yeah do you know much about the jada and uh will history i know that they have an open fight? relationship um and i know that she slept with one of her son's friends i guess which is really yeah, weird Cool. Have you seen Magic Mike? It is uh, a fairly eye-opening movie. Uh, just her and like all the other men in the movie are like 
very weird to watch when you later on realize that she's cheating on will and, yeah. uh, and i mean i say cheating it's not necessarily cheating it's just that like everyone found out that she was sleeping with other dudes and then later on everyone found out they were in an open relationship and then the interview is will being quiet and her explaining why what she did was all good um yeah yeah. And uh, Johnny Depp's abusive girlfriend is also on Magic Mike, and the two of them are like buddy buddy and up. Hmm. A a personal relationship? Boy. You don't hear about his personal relationship? Nope. You don't be out here doing all these fucking red table talks with his girl? Nope. So who you ought to talk about anybody significant other? I don't bring my mom on the show, talk some shit about my mom, then we got an issue. It's a different ballgame. Bruh, 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 I just explained Will's side. I said, I understand how he might have feel. Sure. Now, also what I also said, this shit was just... And if you make a parallel with whatever the fuck happened with the all other two go goobas uh, other there, I waited for them. At the end of the day, the only reason I jumped in and I was like, let's go, is because they challenged me. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it you wouldn't can't, have... You can't just catch them in the street. No, no, I, and I said that already. Yeah. I can't just roll up on a motherfucker. That's a... Will, will, that would be ruining my bag. You know, I disagree with you on the vulnerability thing. Because we make fun of even women who are here being vulnerable if they say goofy stuff. We made fun of Jada yeah. for saying her goofy stuff. It's not when men come out, at least not in this instance, I don't think. When he said what he said on those things, I don't think it was because it's a man being vulnerable that we left. We just left because he was saying some goofy ass shit and being vulnerable. Fair. Because Jada was saying some goofy ass shit too and we, we motherfuckers ran through her. Fair. So to me, that's like my disagreement. Fair. I think Karens are mad. They always mad. But you know what else is mad? March. And we're in the middle of March. God, dude, what a great moment Where for an ad break. I see chat uh, has some good comments about the violence. I have Booger says, feel bad for Jada. She's not the victim. Chris got assaulted for telling a joke. This is absurd. We can't have people punching each other over jokes and hurt mm -hmm. feelings. Yeah, I mean, I had a different take earlier. I, I, I definitely see, understood yeah. where he was coming from because it was like, it, it is like um, a medical condition that, you know, is causing her, uh, you know, to lose her hair. And she's probably very self-conscious about it. But um, I think chat did convince me that, you know, it's never acceptable to use physical aggression on somebody for a joke, even if it's super low. Um, yeah. Though I understand, I understand why, why uh, Will, um, Will Smith got up and did it. Um, though I don't approve of it, so. I actually partially agree with I have boogers, though I don't think it's wrong to feel bad for Jada as well, right? Like, you can say that the assault was bad and then also feel bad that the joke was that, of all things, so. I feel bad for, yeah, I feel bad for Jada. I think she looked like she was, you know, self-conscious about her looks, so, yeah. Yeah. That as far as I can tell, her black entire people. like take on alopecia has been one of like sympathy for other people that have it, and you know. Yeah. She she doesn't joke about it herself, like, and she doesn't yeah. say much about it. And what she does say is that it's pretty rough. Yeah. 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 Community. Most folks like he was that guy. Then the red table talk and the messiness of Jada started coming out. Everyone's like, I don't want to be anything like him, and he became the butt of most jokes. And I'm sure it eats at him. I'm sure it eats at him. But bro, you brought it on yourself. You wanted to be the guru. You wanted to open the curtains and show what's going on behind closed doors. Well, guess what? Turns out your closet is fucking messy. Yeah, yeah. Your girl, she ain't left the matrix. She's still plugged into some other fucking universe. Cause we don't know what she's thinking and she coming out weird in every episode. She's saying crazy stuff. Entanglement. What? Well, guess what, <laughs> bitch? Will, you in an entanglement too. Might be a legal one. So you get no sympathy for me. Zero, none. As far as them clowning your wife, well, guess what? That's what Chris Rock is paid to do at the Oscars. You don't get a pass, Will. You don't just say, yo, keep my wife's name out your mouth. Then don't show up to the show, stupid. Don't show up. You guys don't want to get roasted by the comedian? Don't show up. Don't open it. Like, I don't know. I, I just don't understand folks who want to live this online public life, make all the details of their personal life public, things that nobody asked for or pried into. You know, I have a problem with paparazzi being invasive, taking photos into people's homes, doing all this stuff. I agree that's fucking unacceptable. If you out there posing for them and then say, oh my God, they treat me terribly, get the fuck out of my face. 
And, and don't uh, eat from the table, then leave the table and say, I don't know why I would, why anybody would be there. The people serving the food to trade. Bitch, you was at the table eating. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. All right. What I, what I what I did what I did just there was explaining how Will felt, and I can understand how we feel. You understand what I'm saying? I understand all of that. But everything you said was everything you said. That slap is something you should have dealt with your wife because she puts you in that situation, and she put herself in that situation. And she's the one talking about you and them and all that. I don't know that I agree with that. I mean, I think, uh, like, I, I don't know that, the, like, him making fun of her appearance is, is not between, like, well, I guess maybe if it's about, like, Will Smith laughing at the joke, maybe it could be between him and his wife. But, like, I don't know. I don't think that he, I don't think that slapping is a good um, way to resolve issues. Uh, but... I also don't think that I'm putting, like, all of this responsibility on his wife. I, I don't know the inner workings of the relationship, but I know plenty of people with open relationships. It's not for me. Um, the open relationship thing is not for me, but if it works for them, like, who cares, you know? I don't, I actually don't know that, like, I agree with people, unless there's information I don't know about them. I don't know that I agree with people in the chat saying that she's been making a mockery out of him. I don't, I don't know about that, but, yeah. Well, originally it came out that she had an affair, right? So that uh -huh. was what it was originally, and then it became an open relationship. So I kind of do think she strong-armed him into it into a way, and it's not really for him. He just doesn't want to get divorced because he really loves her, you know? So he's sort of in that awkward position. Maybe, maybe, but again, we don't really maybe. know, like, the inner workings of their relationship, you know? Yeah, it's a, it's a weird contrast of they share too much but equally we also can't really be sure of what's going on um because i mean monogamy might literally be worse for them than what they got going on yeah um yeah, unfortunately i can imagine the two of them talking about it her being really anxious about it coming to the oscars etc yeah i could i could see that too i could definitely cool. see that and her being really upset um, about it. I think Fair. Will did something wrong. Fair. Undoubtedly so. He looks stupid. He looks like somebody who can't take a joke. And I'm like, well, you don't like taking jokes. You don't like being ridiculed or criticized. Don't be in the public eye. And if you don't like the joke, wait for the motherfuckers to challenge you in a boxing match. Yeah, it's not like motherfuckers are looking at a regular ass relationship and then criticizing you in ways that are not justified. Like, y'all are weird. Laughing for yeah, charity. You're saying weird That's shit. We and you think it's weird judging by your reactions to what your wife be saying in the interview. So don't sit here and then act incredulous like blah, 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 blah. No. It's definitely weird to, to say he hit rock because he feels bad about being cucked. Yeah, that's true. I don't think. Oh, yeah, no, that has nothing to do with why he hit rock. Yeah, he hit rock with. because he made a comment about his wife. Like, it's not, let's not bring his, you know, relationship, the nature of their relationship into this, you know? So. Oh, he brought this definitely on doesn't enjoy his wife fucking other people. Yeah, something well. is like, like I... on a, it's yeah. not his kink, so he's not actually a cock guy. Yeah. I said, YouTube, it's something that you have to definitely take with your wife. Yeah. Because all that shit and the reason why you're there and everything and stuff. <coughs> yeah. It's. Oof. Your oh. wife, your wife, like you want, you want, you you want people to take your name's wife out their mouth, but your wife is always talking about you. Always. It's your wife that should stop talking about you, hey, not Chris Rock. But you know, you're gonna sleep it off, and you're gonna be super pissed off, and everything and stuff. And I understand. I understand. Well, he'll come out stuff. with this PR answer. Yeah, of course. He'll PR. PR. But I'm not gonna lie, man. Chris was having one of the roughest sets of comedian can After? Have. Yeah, after that slap, and he said, "Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth." Chris started thinking like. Do you want to keep going with these punchlines? I might get mass smacked again. <laughs> Chris, Chris Rock, even though everyone said he kept a good poker face, motherfucker looked like he was fighting back tears. It's he like did. He side. did. 100%. He agrees with me. Thank He's God. Somebody dream. agrees with me. Somebody agrees with me. Holy shit. Because uh, I saw that slap. You look at Chris Rock's eyes. He does not look like he's okay.